we just finished unloading the truck and I thought, well, I'm gonna go take a quick smoke break real quick. Um, I stepped outside here on the loading dock and um, just having a cigarette and this guy pulls up, circles around and stops by the dumpsters up there. The guy got out of the car and he kind of scanned this way, scanned that way, grabbed a bag out from his car and threw it in the recyclable cardboard dumpster. He had a 50-50 shot of getting away with it. If he would have thrown it in the garbage dumpster, I would have grumbled about it a little bit more and went on with my day. But since he threw it into the recyclable cardboard, I walked up after he left and picked it out. And when I picked it out, I was like, this bag, it feels empty. I opened it up, I looked inside, and there was one manila folder with eight voter registration forms, and it just happened to be the last day to register in the state of Virginia to vote. So I called the uh, Harrisonburg Registrar's Office. They um, instructed me not to let anybody else see these forms because it contained personal information such as social security numbers, dates of birth, their addresses, their full names, everything. and. Um, so they said that they would be over immediately to, to get them. And then the lady I spoke with, she kind of hesitated for a moment. She's like, no, wait a minute. She goes, I'm not coming over to get those. I'm going to send the police. That evening, I, I posted a post on Facebook. A friend of mine called me. And he was like, you know, it's just a hunch, but the Republican headquarters is just up the street from you. He goes, why don't you drive by since you saw the guy's car? and see if you see his car in the lot. He goes, might be there, might not be there. So um, I drove up after work and I didn't see it. I went on home the next morning on the way to work. I swung by and I didn't see it. And so then um, that afternoon on lunch, I um, drove by and there was the car parked right in front of the Republican headquarters. So I called the uh, Rockingham County Sheriff's Department and they patched me through to Captain Hensley who was investigating. I gave her the information off the car. Um, it was the exact same car that I described to them. Um, the only thing I didn't have the day before when I described the car to them was the actual license plate number. From what I understand, about 48 hours later, they arrested and charged Colin Small. I'm not in his mind. I don't know exactly what he was actually doing, what he wasn't doing. Um, but I did speak to a young lady um, a couple days after his picture was released. Um, it was basically just in passing a little bit. Um, she was like, I worked for that guy for two hours. And I was like, you did? And she was like, yeah. She goes, they were paying $12 an hour to sign people up to register to vote. One of the first things he told us was to talk to each individual before we sign them up. She said, get a feel. Are they going to vote Democrat or are they going to vote Republican? If they're going to vote Republican, go ahead and sign them up. If they're going to vote Democrat, just chit chat a little bit longer and work your way out of the conversation and move on to the next person. Don't sign them up. And from what I understand, in the state of Virginia, that's illegal to kind of probe someone. Um, on their voter registration forms in Virginia, there is no party affiliation to try to prevent that. Um, I've seen where some of the authorities here in the area have said they don't think that that was part of the motive for him doing this because the voter registration forms don't have party affiliation. But just in general, chit chat conversation, a lot of times you can get a feel how someone feels about issues and depending on what those issues are, determine how they would vote and be able to basically discriminate from one to the other that way. Um, you don't need a check mark on a box to figure that out. Mm -hmm. There's so many different people, so many different motives. Um, there's been reports of people all across the country doing this, doing that. Some of them act on their own. Um, others, it's appearing that it's actually organized groups. Um, I know that Mr. Small was connected with Allied Consulting, which about three weeks prior to that had gotten in a lot of hot water in Florida by, I think what I understand was trying to register um, absentee ballots, duplicate absentee ballots and things like that. 
The local newspaper published my name and where I worked the morning after the event happened. And um, there was a lady who called the store and she just identified herself as the mother of one of the boys who was listed on one of those photo registration forms. And she thanked me over and over for finding those and turning them in. She said her son just turned 18 and he was all excited about being able to vote for the first time in his life. The first time he gets to vote, he gets to vote for president. And he was really excited about it. And had I not found them and turned them in, he wouldn't have had that opportunity. So that right there made it all worth it. My personal opinion is he was too smooth when he came through here. I mean, he came in, zipped right up through here, did the circle, parked by the dumpster, popped out, left, right, bag in the trash, in the car, and gone. Um, it just seemed too smooth. My opinion is, I saw it that day, how many times did I not see it? And today will be the day that a lot of people may discover when they go to vote that they're not on the rolls. It's one of our rights as a U.S. citizen to be able to choose our leaders and for an individual to um, stop us from doing that, or even worse, if a group or a political party actually does things like this to sway an election, then it's not a free democratic process anymore.